and welcome back. There we go. Tigrashi Kai. What do we have today? We have Minagoroshi. No questions here. Let's just go right in. The final truth, even though it's the second to last act actor, second to last arc of Higurashi. So this is the massacre chapter. This story introduces the inside the unit inside and out, using all of the actors. It's a public autopsy. Hmm. After loving someone, cut open their belly and... Do they say that? Uh, they, they don't say that around my parts, so... Alright. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, I don't see you playing by yourself that often. Since when do you have your own will? A sister or a brother? Whatever you are. I used to be an existence of nothingness, just like you. My own identity, my own thoughts, and eventually my own body. Hmm. My sister. All right, that's fair. A ring with a small diameter. In the cycle of death and rebirth. The same world over and over again, you might. Oh. Rika's still interested in that small world. So you're not Rika. You're some kind of being that's not Fude Rika. Which means there is still a Fude Rika. Wow, this is... Collecting pieces of memories. in her endings. I remember that one. Keiji was cursed. The only Kakushi chapter. Oh, boy. Yes. Whatever darkness this, this really was. Right. I that freaking. I feel like we were all killed at the end of all of this, too. 
That piece is the Wadi Nagashi chapter. Yep, we know the answer there now. Ah, yes. That makes sense. She was tortured to death. In the original Watanagashi. Which means that Watanagashi and... Uh... Miyakashi are completely distinct chapters. I think this is obvious now. The other one is the Tatari Goroshi chapter. Fucking Hojo Tepe still has the most punchable fucking face out there. Jesus Christ. I just want to fucking break his nose. Break it, come on. This this shot looks really freaking cool, though. It was the worst world. That's the Sumi Honoboshi chapter. And it just ended. Mm. Again, us. There's this being, whatever, Fru de Rica, whatever is taken over her, or is in place of her, or whatever. And the sister. I was originally born in the normal world. Yes. Okay. Notice now it says possessed by suspicion. That is, yeah. be playing them constantly, but they change, right? Oh, 
That's fair. So that's what stands out. She just wants to have fun. observing this, all of these worlds, and we see things turn out differently. Like going from Onikakushi to Watanagashi, there's a different... things change. There's a different impetus to the story, different trigger for the events, so to speak. center of a tragedy. Hmm. Again with the normal world. Darkness is the same, but it just manifests in different ways. Hmm. Is this what they call in the world uh, the curse of Oyashiro Sama? That's what Rena was starting to dig, to dig up near the end of her time there. A small girl like us, Furu de Rika. So when she says sister, she's talking to another Furu de Rika. Somehow they can escape their uh, shards of memories and some other world. It seems like this new Rika that we're. that the other Rika's talking to is figuring everything out right away.
Right. Someone wills them to die. They die. Why? And that causes the paranoia. Turn X. And that's rule 9. It's supposed to be two individual rules, but they link together. Certainly. Yes. Now my money's on. I reckon Oishi comes up because he has a strong influence on all of the cases. And he certainly has a strong will to obviously condemn the Sonazakis as the cause of the incidents and close those cases, the curse of Oyashiro-sama. Those related cases. Uh, Takano is... Yeah. All right. You will see. That's true. Because his friend was the first, and the damn construction manager. Yep, he met Tsubishi. So he naturally made a connection where there wasn't really a connection. What is this song? It's really nice, but I hear a faint, uh, I hear this faint noise in it that I can't place. It's quite weird. Right, he had some influence on them. In some way. Because they sh 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 swapped intel on Satoshi's case. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, in Tatari Tatari Goroshi, that's what they call him, and that's always stuck by me. I want to know where that nickname came from. Yep. She gives someone her scrapbook, and that starts their mess.
Yeah, awfully ironic. Of course you would. Hmm. Rule Z. Gives them power if they act responsible. It just works. Even if they haven't. So the one fact we should take away is that the Sonozaki family does not have enough power as people might like to think they do. Oh, they, all, they still have people everywhere, but... Yes. Is, yes. You only have the memory from... Huh. They're trying to tie them all together. Hmm. Yes. With the justifiable murder system. Hmm. Hmm. Like we've seen, some of the bad people No, I'm kind of falling. Oh, yeah. It's Hinamizawa. Only three world, three rules that hold them together, but everything else just kind of falls into place differently. The biggest issue Frude Rika is facing. Ah.
So with a strong will, once Rinka did. But still she ends up... Still fate catches up with her. There's a thought. Preserve the happy days. She wants a happy future. Hmm. By someone else. Oh. But not kill her personally. What sort of world is this that we're in right now? Did the disaster happen? No. Did the disaster happen? After Watanagashi and Miyakashi? That's what I want. That's what I want to know. Did the big... Was the village wiped out after they left? take it all out of all of them, too. Yeah. Hmm.
is for the most part, yes. Big disaster. Hmm. Until you were born. Wow. Something different. Oh no. That's not good. Hanyu? Who the heck is Hanyu? She can't rewind the years of time like she used to. Hmm. She should only have about two weeks in the next world. Who is Hanyu? Rodrigo is going to try to break the three rules in just two weeks. I wanted to know what's outside the well, so I tried to claw my way up from there. Inside the well, so I continue to climb even when I fell and injured myself. I finally realized the higher I climb, the more pain I feel when I fall. Hmm. Again with Burden Castle. Minagaroshi. This Frederica Burden Castle writing these very. Vague, very interesting poems dealing with hopelessness and trying to climb. to beat the in inevitable, I guess. Were we just talking to this burn castle? I, I don't know. Lose all my senses. Uh, whose shoes are we in right now? I bang my hand on the floor with a dull thud. I see stars behind my eyelids and huddle into a ball while holding my head in pain. Hmm. Reek? So we are Rika. This time. Oh no. Hmm. Han you. Whoa.
the Are you, hun? You? <clears throat> this is ironically, this is a direct sequel. Someone killed us, and then the... Right. Right. This girl this girl's name is Hanya. Yep, that's us. Right. Sadako cares. So all those times Rika was talking to mysterious existences in the past about various philosophical things. She was talking to this Hanyu? Who seems to have some knowledge of time and the workings of it. Since the invocation is that Hanyu is the one turning back time for Renrika? I don't understand. Yeah, there's still a lot to 
process, but man. Of course it is. Yeah, without thinking. Yeah. Hmm. It's a fair question. Little girl with the mind of uh, someone much older, apparently. Just because she's been through so many timelines, apparently, that her mental age is uh, much higher than her current physical age in this loop. Hmm. A witch? Mm. Hanyu's disappointed. The miracle never happened. And that involved Keiichi. Uh oh. What can we do to trigger his memories again? Before it was the memories, it was just the eerie similarities of Rena's paranoia. 
that triggered his memories of his own paranoia. I like how she kind of takes up the foreground. So, this isn't even... I'm trying to wrap my mind around all this, because... We're talking like, uh... Ever-17 levels of, uh... Consciousness here, where... Or 999 level stuff, where... There's these multiple timelines, and I don't know if they're new Rikas. There's kind of implications in that opening mystery monologue that that's the case. So, sort of like another timeline marches on, and in terms of the world, uh, Hanyu winds back time, and another Rika sort of uh, her consciousness overrides the, the Rika of this world. And her, this Rika, this Rika's soul, I guess, that's been trapped in this endless loop for so long, it's, uh, her time just started here. Before that, it's completely normal Rika. And then just a thud, and now Rika and Hanyu show up. The trapped Rika. You want to take action. When you had more power, what sort of power do you have? I'm st still... We'll be right back with more Higurashi. Dear blank blank Yoko. We have tips to read now, right? Our first tip. Dear Star Star Yoko. I'm sorry for leaving you like this. I just need you to understand I'd rather take my own life than be fearful of how many days I have left to live. That's why I'm writing this letter to you. I can't stand the fear of being unable to leave behind a will while my life is prolonged even as I lose my consciousness. In the end, there's nothing I can leave behind for you. 
was unable to leave any of my achievements to this world. I was forgotten before I was dead. I leave this world a humiliated man, knowing that I had no appreciation from anyone. You must do better than me. You must achieve something that your grandfather was never able to achieve. I don't mind what field you choose. You must leave your name in this world. You must leave your achievement to this world. You will eventually die some day. You will eventually turn to ashes. That's your destiny as a human. But if you achieve a great success, you will live forever even after you depart. Those who live beyond their deaths are called gods. I wish to become one, but I was unable to do so. You must become a god some day. Well, blank, blank, Yoko. I would not even know who that could possibly have been written about. Ah. Hmm. Eighty eight clinic. All right. Sadoko's arm. It's all good. Oh, Nurse Takano. Hey, there she is. <laughs> I just want to pat you. She's getting better, isn't she? The usual quiz. Oh boy. The testing room. Negative symptoms? What is Sadako suffering from? I just had a crazy thought. What if this the whole extra footstep business is this young invisible cutie just following along looking at trying to look after all of Rika's friends who seem to be suffering the most.
Of course. <laughs> oh, Kyrie, no! 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 Oh, no, let's not go there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, lordy. What sort of exam test and stuff comes with a quiz? Or mission? L3 negative. Whoa. Even after the Ford and Chemical was out of her system? What? What is... Is she sick? What does Sadako have? Symptoms can be controlled. Of course not. Yes, trust me. Trust me, trust me. I trust you, Snake Man. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> but man, what? Big test. Right, right. Tokyo. Recess. That time of the year. Who's recess? Drop on him, Hanyu? He doesn't like Irie? Okay. Oh. 
mistake searching. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Only the second cutest verbal tick. No, scratch that, the third. <laughs> I want to know more about Hanyu. It has to be some kind of brain... brain uh, disorder if they're giving her some kind of mental test as a part of the study. Timing admits how long it takes her to answer the question, observing how she acts. Hmm. Magical ink stain. Oh, the good old uh, ink blot test. It's a funny ar It's a funny iron pair. Make sure you apologize to it and respect it. Um, um. Wasted. Wasted. Yeah. <laughs> it appears to be. Yes. Oh. I guess it is a good test of the uh, mind. <laughs> Define same, Rika. Yes, tell me more about the two butterflies on top of each other. Hmm. They're finally reunited and they're excited. Uh huh. Oh, Sadoko. Sadoko. Take this picture. Yeah. Last year you said it last year you said it was ice cream or something, I don't know. This year he said it was two butterflies fucking 